What is up YouTube? So I'm gonna do this video with this AR emoji feature on the Galaxy S10 because I just wanna see how it works out. So today I wanna to talk a little bit quick about a new phone that Xiaomi is now coming out with that actually might have the same camera that the Galaxy S11 might have, a 108 megapixel sensor. And also that this phone is, this phone is from Xiaomi. It is called the Mi Mix Alpha, it just got announced right now. It's gonna come out in December of 2019. And the cool phone here, the cool thing with this phone is that it has a display that basically wraps around to the other side. And it's a 180 screen to body ratio, which, 180% screen to body ratio. So it goes uh, over to the other side and it basically covers the whole phone. On the sides also you have display uh, with, um, uh, with touch buttons, which is very, very interesting. So if you look at the design of it, it looks, it looks quite futuristic. It looks like a 2020 device. So this might actually be the next big thing that comes after this uh, triple camera and quad camera hype. The other specs that are kind of interesting here is uh, QR Com Snapdragon 855 Plus, 5G connectivity, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, 40 watts wired fast charging and 4,000 milliamp battery. You may say it may not be super impressive because most people won't use 5G, most people won't need 512 gigs, and most people would rather take maybe 5,000 milliamp battery or a 6,000 milliamp battery. But this phone, the cool thing, of course, is mainly the display. But the price is quite crazy because the price will be $2,800. Whoa. It, that is that is a lot, $2,800, and it will be a concept smartphone. So it, it's just an experimental phone here from, from Xiaomi, but we're probably gonna see more of this coming in the future, and it might have a lot of accidental touch recognition, rec uh, touch, uh, rec recognition problems, especially when you have a display on the sides. And a lot of apps are probably not optimized for for optimal use, for especially for this use case where you have a display on the back side of the phone. So this phone reminds me a little bit about the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge that they did a couple of years ago, where they were sort of starting to experiment with have a, sort of a waterfall design with uh, with the display. And that was kind of a, a gimmick phone. And then a couple of years later, we sort of started to see better models, better phones with uh, display experimentation. So probably what we're going to see here also. So quite an interesting device, but I don't think it's going to sell that many units. But it's kind of interesting to see companies starting to experiment with this and um, just to see where, where this whole tech is going. The big thing I want to see is better battery tech. That, that is that is going to make me want to buy a Galaxy S11 or Galaxy S12 or an iPhone 12. Yeah, so quick video talking a little bit about that. Hopefully enjoyed. Have a great day, YouTube.